Hi there, this is Steven again. And in this video, I just wanted to go over the difference between auto saves and incremental saves, setting that up in Maya and the benefits of both of those. So the first thing to bring up is, you know, there's this mantra about saving early, saving often, especially like Maya can crash on you and you can lose a lot of your work. Now, generally Maya is set up to do this recovery but it doesn't always bring back everything and it's just helpful to save very often. Now, if you don't get in the habit of that and something goes wrong, you don't have these you know, save files to go back to. Incremental saves are as easy as going to file, save scene, going to the option box and turning on incremental saves. And what this is gonna do is just incrementally as I save the file, it's going to save a backup of that. It's actually going to make a separate folder called incremental saves, and it's going to place the backup of that saved file in that folder, right? So every time I save, it'll increment. So I always have the previous one to go back to, which is a really nice handy feature. I can limit the incremental saves, meaning it'll only incrementally save a certain number. So in this case, if it's set to 20, there'll only ever be 20 incremental saves previous. Right? So every time I save, it'll save a version in the incremental saves file. It'll delete the oldest version. I can choose compress save if I want. I usually leave that off and preserve name during compression. Those are just if I'm saving compressed files to keep that smaller. I usually don't because I limit my number of incremental saves. And then that way, as I work, I'll always have the ability to go back 20 different saved files or backup files. If I click save scene here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna save my scene as it is and it'll turn on this function. If I click save and close, what it's gonna do is it's gonna save these changes and just close it and it's not gonna save the file. So I can go ahead and click save scene and it goes ahead and saves it in this project that I have created, right? And if I go to file and I go to save scene as, I'm gonna show you the folder structure. It has created an incremental save directory inside my scenes directory when I set the project. Now I'm gonna double click the incremental saves and you're gonna see there's a folder and inside that it's actually gonna have incremental saves. So it's a couple different folder structure. It names this folder .ma, but it's not an ma file. It's just naming it after the name of my file, right? So I'm gonna cancel that. The other thing you can have is auto saves. So I'm gonna to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, and then the Preferences option in that menu. Once here, I'm gonna go down to Files and Projects. And then if you look here, it, it has the default project directory if I set that and always start in this project. And I don't have those set. That's not necessarily that important. You have the recent history size, increments, and projects. But down here you have autosave, and I'm just gonna enable that, I'm gonna turn on. I can use autosaves and incremental saves at the same time. What autosave is gonna do for me is it's gonna automatically prompt me or, or just save whatever file I'm working on. So if I enable this and the interval is set to 10 minutes, every 10 minutes, Maya is gonna save the file. If you turn on prompt before save, if you enable that, what it's gonna happen is you're gonna see a little window pop up asking you if you want to save the file. Like every 10 minutes that'll pop up. If you don't have that on, it'll just go ahead and automatically save it, right? And you'll just notice every 10 minutes there'll be a slight lag in Maya because it's saving in the background. I kind of prefer that method. The prompt, it always kind of gets in my way. I just realize that every once in a while, every 10 minutes, it's just gonna lag a little bit because it's saving in the background, right? I can also limit autosave. Similar to the incremental saves, I can limit this to 10. It'll autosave until it reaches 10, and then every time it autosaves again, it's going to delete the oldest version. I can choose the autosave destination as the project, the actual project that I'm working in. I can choose a named folder, and if I do that, I can click this folder and actually name it and assign it a different folder if I don't want it in my project. And then I can use the env var, which is a little bit of a different topic in my, I can actually set up a directory in a text file and save that as the, the env file. And it will go to that location to save that. But at this point, I'm just gonna choose project. And make sure you click the save button to save these changes. Don't just close this window. Go ahead and click save. And now if I go to file, and I'm gonna go to open scene. And in the open scene, I see that I have 
my project directory, it takes me to the scenes directory. And now if I go down here to the work the workspace root, it shows all the directories in my project folder. You'll see there's an auto save directory and I can double click that auto save directory and I will see the auto saves populate in here. I haven't saved anything yet or it hasn't prompted me to auto save, but it will automatically save my file to that auto saves directory as well as saving over my original scene that I've created. Hopefully this helps and to understand better what incremental saves and auto saves will help you when you're working.